are you? Death rate. So in English today, you are writing your animal fact file. Which animal are you choosing to write about? I know we've got some really interesting ones in schools. We've got gorillas, jaguars, sloths, lapotas, okay? Now, when you are writing your fact file, you need your planning sheet in front of you from yesterday, and you can choose to type this straight up onto the computer if you want to, or you can choose to write it down. Now, I'm going to show you writing it down. Now, on the school website, there is a sheet, just bear with me, that looks, oh, we've had a crash. Where's it gone? Found it. All right, there we go. That looks like this, okay? Now, if you're choosing to write this up, you can use this as your text boxes, and that is going to help you um, to sort of put your information on the page. So let's have a look at what I am writing. So this is my Jaguar fact file and I am using a big piece of paper, an A3 piece of paper, but you can choose to do it on A4. This is your choice. You don't have to use the text box, you text boxes, you just might want to. I've got my title at the top and then I've put my boxes in the places that I want them. And then actually I've got some space for pictures. So I've got my did you know boxes that I've already written the facts on and then I could stick those down. And then I've just started to write my subheadings. Where do Jaguars live? What do Jaguars eat? And then I was going to have um, what makes Jaguars so good at hunting. I'm remembering my question mark. So now I'm going to show you model writing where do Jaguars live. I'm going to just do that paragraph, but I would recommend you get all of your writing done before then going colouring in your fact file and adding your pictures. So, where do Jaguars live? Oh, and what sort of things do I need to remember? I need to remember fronted adverbials, what else do I want? Uh, expanded down phrases and conjunctions, fantastic. Can you list six conjunctions for me just while you're sitting there? Or can you, have you got and? Have you got because? Did you get a while since? although I'm going to try and use all of those in my writing. So, <coughs> I'm going to start with the fronted adverbial. Interestingly, and I'm remembering my comma. Interestingly, commas, Jaguars live in rainforests. in Central America and why does Central America and South America need a capital in Central and that's because it's a proper noun in South America. Interestingly Jaguars live in my forest in Central and South America. Um, oh and now I want a sentence about the, the fact that they live on the forest floor what subhead, uh, what, sorry, what fronted adverbial could I use? Amazingly, surprisingly, or oh, I think I'm going to go for amazingly, amazingly, comma, they spend most of their time on the forest floor oh I've forgotten my L but oh there's my first conjunction do hunt in the understory layer full stop 
Interestingly, Janky was living rainforest in Central and South America. Amazingly, they spend most of their time on the forest floor, but do hunt in the understory layer. What else do I know about where jaguars live that I could write in there? I think I'm going to write about the fact that they sleep. Um, I spend their time in branches as well, okay? Uh, interestingly, amazingly, or now I know that they are animals that come out at night. So I'm going to say in the day, comma, they spend... time sleeping in branches while at night comma uh, not comma sorry they hunt full stop Okay, now I didn't get any expanded nail phases in there, so I'm sure you can do an even better job than me. Now, like I said, I would recommend that you do all of your writing first, but I'm just going to show you that paragraph, and then you can use, you can colour in your um, heading, sorry. I've done bubble writing, but if you're not confident, you could just write it in big writing. I'm going to now have a go at drawing a picture to go with it. So this information was about the layers of the rainforest. So I think I'm going to draw a picture that illustrates the layers of the rainforest. So I'm going to have my emergent layer. There's where the really tall trees are. And then I'm going to have my canopy. If you have access to a printer, you might want to print some pictures out or if you're doing it directly onto a word processing, um, something like Word, again, you could do uh, your um, ad pictures off the internet if you know how to do that. So there is my emergent layer, there's my canopy and I'm just going to add some different bushes to the forest floor. All right, and then I would have some space for a diagram down here. Now, that is the start of my fact file. Like I say, you don't have to choose to do it this way. You can just have a blank piece of paper in front of you and write. But please remember your subheadings, fronted adverbials, expanded noun phrases and conjunctions. And I look forward to seeing your finished fact file and learning lots of amazing information about your rainforest animals.